What's up guys? How's it going? Jacob here. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of suggestions lately. I've been I think I've gotten like maybe ten so far today. Um I'm getting a lot of them, but you know, keep them coming, please. Just please give me more suggestions. I already have like notes of a bunch of suggestions. You guys are telling me to review here, so uh yeah, keep them coming. It's giving me some fresh ideas of what to review, and, uh, yeah. Um, obviously, I, I'm not gonna, like, you know, they're not gonna be out right away or, like, uploaded right away, because, you know, I actually filmed these, like, a couple days before they actually came out. Like, on YouTube, you're watching this right now. I probably filmed this maybe two, three nights ago, so, uh, yeah. Um, expect them to, I mean, if you had a suggestion, expect it to be uploaded within, like, maybe a couple of days or so, maybe even a week. Just depends on how much time I have, but, um, anyway, I'm definitely gonna review it, no matter what, so, uh, stay tuned. So this review was suggested by Art Games. please go check out his channel, um, he does horror movie reviews, and, um, this review is on the remake of Knights of the Demons. This is a 2009 remake of, a, I, I think, believe it's an 80s classic. Um, I do remember seeing the, I remember hearing about it coming in limited theaters. Nobody went to see it, though, um, as I recall, but, yeah. I have not seen the original, I have only seen this remake. Um, I did meet Kevin Tenney, who is the, um, director of the original classic Night of the Demons. He's a really nice guy. I really like his, like, sort of sense of humor. He's he's a really nice guy, but, um, I'm glad I got to meet him. He had a Night of the Demons copy. Uh, I wish I got an autograph from him. Instead, I got this, uh, hang on, here it is. I got a copy of, uh, his film Brain Dead autographed instead. I don't know what I was thinking of. Yeah, but I did not get Night of the Demons, the original. Um, I should have gotten that instead of this, because, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> back to the review. It has been such a long time since the last time I saw this movie. I can't even tell you the last time I saw this movie. It was probably a couple of years ago. I mean, I, I don't remember the last time I saw it. What I do remember was that it took place at a Halloween party. It was like a little Halloween party. People were dressed up in costumes, you know. And then... I'm trying to think at the top of my head what it was about. I believe that something went wrong and all the people left the building. And then these group of teenagers... These group of two stupid teenagers, they, uh... You know, they stay at the building. I cannot quite, f I can't remember, but all I know is that they have to fight these awesome demons, you know. They're at a Halloween party, which gets um, evacuated, and then, you know, they're by themselves, and then I think there's like a book or something, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember. Um, but a demon summoned from the earth. Or from wherever the hell they came from. <laughs> you see what I did there? Whatever the hell. Anyways. Um, but yeah. That's all I can really remember. I have not seen this movie in a while. I don't even own it. So this is all I can pretty much tell you. What I do remember, however, is really liking this movie. Um, there's one part that I do remember clearly in my head. That is the part... You won't know what I'm talking about. The part where this chick, she grabs, like, this little lipstick. I think she's possessed by a demon. Yeah. She was definitely possessed by a demon. Now that I remember. She grabs a lipstick and she sticks it in her nipple. The lipstick goes through her nipple, through her boob, and it comes out of her genitalia. So, uh... It's a great movie. It is sort of like a dark comedy in a way, um... There are some really funny elements I remember being in this film. Uh, a lot of very, it's like kind of sort of almost cheesy, but like it's a good time to watch. I'm not going to go ahead and tell, say this movie is a great, great horror film. It's an ultimate classic. No, it's it's not that good. I do believe it's good, though. It's a good Friday night watch. Uh, 
You know, don't expect it to be amazing, though. It's not, it's nothing amazing, just a fun little watch. Overall, I would probably give the 2009 remake to Night of the Demons a 3.5 out of 5 star rating that I remember. I really need to rewatch this movie. I have not seen this in a while. So yeah, I'm planning on getting this on Blu-ray, and uh, hopefully my mind will be refreshed, and I'm going to probably look back at this review saying how much of an idiot I was, because I would either really like it more, or really like it less by the time I saw this review again, so... I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next. Please leave a comment. Just give out any suggestions. I remember I'm going to give everybody a shout out who suggests this to me. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!